Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Nadi, and this is the um, Daily Espresso Short Shots of Business Ideas, or Big Business Ideas. Um, I've got Chris with me, he's behind the camera today, and then we're gonna mix it up. Morning. A bit. Morning, morning. You can, hopefully, you can hear him. Um, I really want to talk about uh, setting your business scene and what the right business scene looks like and how it's going to perfectly work for you and your business and, and, and allow you to really smash it out and be successful in, in what you do. Um, we're at Baker's Wife today here in Camberwell and Chris, maybe if you just pan around, you guys will see how awesome this place is. It's got an amazing feel, it's got an amazing uh, ambience and it really sets the scene as soon as you walk in um, as to how happening this place is. Really high ceilings, an awesome cathedral kind of look, um, you know, exposed brick, whatever it is, they've set that scene. So how many times have you maybe walked into a cafe or a restaurant and you're sort of like, yeah, I don't really know if it's gonna, you know, if it's gonna tickle my fancy. Well, this place kind of does that. You walk up to the bar to order and they're very smart in doing that because you immediately get uh, blown away by the array of what they've got on the tables, um, uh, behind, on the counter, the, uh, the array of Awesome donuts, you know, lemon curd and Nutella filled and jam. And I couldn't help myself today. I had to get a croissant, even uh, you know, knowing that Chris is going to go give me the, you know, I, I completely had to had to go for it. And, and it takes look, a day. It takes a day to get and, out and, of and, this. But you know, but you know what? That's all about off. setting the scene, setting the environment for a great business setting. Um, and that's what we want to talk about today. Chris, over to you for a quick question. Yeah, so. Throw it out from behind the cam. That's it, so thanks um, for uh, thanks for those for everyone posting up the questions, Facebook, Twitter, Insta, really gave me a lot of fantastic traction. Um, so Nadi, how do you set the scene for a winning business? Simple, plain, simple, how do you second. All right, we're back on. Cool, so we're back on. <laughs> all right, so let's 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 rope let's rope this Roving. around. Or oh, Chris, why don't you just sit down? So we've had to we've had to move on. Tech, tech. All the brickwork in this place is killing our uh, killing killing our forge. Um, yeah. So so you know the, the scene set uh, by you know by the business and the scene set that's completely unique. And what I don't want you to do in business is go out there and have a look at what everyone else is doing, have a look at what's working, and copy it and mimic it, right? So imitation is the fine, you know, finest, the highest form of flattery. That's nice, but you know, it's never going to work. Get off it. Don't do it. Be unique. If you don't have a unique vision for how you should set the scene in your business, well, then your marketing efforts are probably not right. You're probably going to need some external external assistance, um, and, and there are plenty of really awesome designers and. Um, people that have specialised in, in, in your particular type of business, cafes, restaurants in particular, who are going to come on board and, and do some amazing stuff, right? So, um, uh, you know, and it doesn't matter what anyone thinks, they're going to love the fact that they're going to walk into a place and set that scene of expectation that the food's going to be amazing and avant-garde, you know, everything's going to kind of blow their socks off um, and it's going to be a great feeling all around. So setting that scene in your business is absolutely crucial. Um, and, and it's going to leave that first impression, all right? We're humans, first impressions make a, a massive for us. And, uh, you know, if we eat with our eyes, well then, you know, that's the, think of that as that entree before someone comes in and, and, and orders what they're going to order or before they sit down. I know personally, I've walked into places before that may have, you know, you know may have walked in, looked right from the outside, walked in, went, no, nah, and walked back out. Or walked in, sat down, looked at the menu, it was a shabby piece of paper that just no thought had gone into, and said, I wonder what the rest of the business is like, or I wonder what's gonna happen when I order what's gonna come out, you know, what's gonna come out that I've ordered. So setting that initial scene is, setting that scene of your business is massive. Uh, and just to recap, there's no set uh, thing that you should be doing other than being unique, other than being thoughtful, other than trying to wow every single person that walks in. Now, over time, the loyalty builds. Over time, 
uh, you know, the, the, uh, that, that customer loyalty occurs and people keep coming back. But setting that initial scene um, and, and that first impression is absolutely fantastic. And then maintaining it and building on that is, all, is, is what's going to keep those people uh, constantly happy and excited. All right. So, um, and, and you know, like we talk about, we talk about cafes and restaurants. Let's talk about offices. Let's talk about um, you know mundane kind of typical businesses. All right. Let's talk about. Um, you know, law firms, accounting firms, uh, that sort of stuff. You know, okay, if you're a creative, make sure you're, you, you know, make sure your business scene is a creative scene. Make it quirky, make it happening. Uh, if, you're, if you're appealing to a particular clientele, make sure that's, you know, make sure when they walk into your business, they're gonna feel like you had them in mind when you set everything up, when you designed it, when you had it going. Um, so they're the really important things that you need to focus on. And you need, you know, you, you need to keep in mind when you set that scene for your business. And then that scene, when we talk about scene or that environment, that then stems down and flows through your service and your standards. Okay, so how the people in your business are greeted, right? How they're then serviced, how the communication is with them, um, you know, emails, phone calls, etc. Uh, you know, face to face. Um, set that scene. If you're a funky business, doing funky things or appealing to funky people, then be funky in your approach, right? Don't try and appeal as a funky person and then dress up in a, in a, in a suit you know, suit and tie. Like, you're just going to create the wrong message. So set that scene in your business. Um, you're going to set the expectation. We've spoken about expectation before. You're going to let people, um, people are going to have a level of expectation of you based on how they feel your business is representing itself, right, through its scene. So that, look, if you follow those things, if you, you know, put a lot of thought into it, um, uh, approach it from the, uh, from the sense uh, or from the, from, from the um, you know, client, customer's point of view, um, try and envisage how you want them to feel, uh, you're going to come out winning, you're going to come out winning no doubt because you're setting the scene of business, you're setting that level of expectation your client, you want your clients to have of you, or your customers to have of you, and then you need to focus on delivery. If you do those things, you're going to set the scene for an amazing business, and you're going to win, and you're going to kick ass, um, and it's going to be happy days. And you're going to leave a comment saying, "That's right, that's awesome." You know, we just realise we're trying to have amazing coffee, but you know, we're not we're not telling the world about it. But go out and do it. Put the roaster in the middle of your in the middle of your cafe. Maybe that'll. Uh, Maybe that'll change change it up a bit. Maybe people will have that level of expect, uh, expectation. Maybe they'll immediately say, "Oh, these guys must roast their own coffee." This is the daily espresso. Short shots of big business ideas. Um, so we're talking about business scene, and hopefully, hopefully, you take some two cents out of that and really make it work for you. Um, I'm Nadi, going behind the camera, Chris. Keep your questions coming through. Keep them coming through because we love them. We feed off them. We enjoy them, and we love giving back. Um, and it's been uh, it's been a blast so far. This is the Baker's wife in North East of Camberwell. Thanks.